I'm not talking about whatever you are talking about, you AGPGN, whatever. You see anything that is built on the foundation of lies. This is the outcome. This is the outcome. See, citizens of Nigeria in ground community, let me tell you everything Mr. Shalon has said, I know nothing about, but that that he's saying UAAG has money. UAAG does not have any money. He does not have any money, so don't let anybody deceive you any further. Whether you believe it or not, UAG has no money. If he knows he is not scared, why are you stopping women to go and find out the truth? What is the big deal to ask for document? Because you know there is no document anywhere existing where Ken's name is there. So what is your business with that? What? Don't threaten anybody. Hmm. Well, well, well. You know, sometimes when you feel that uh, you have adults that have sense, but when they speak, you will see that they don't have an atom of sense at all in them. It's really the biggest shame. It's a shame. Well, good morning, citizens of Nigeria and Grand Community. My name is Chief Mrs. Zainab Ali Kangewa, a.k.a. Madam Z. Coming out to you. The sixth day of June 2024. Honestly, I've really tried to hold myself that I was not really coming out to say anything for now until the time that the voice needs to be heard, then people will hear it. But you know, you just be at peace with yourself and uh, you just feel you're you are in the comfort zone. Some people will just come to to come and disturb your peace, and you really need to give it back to them. I just have to come out because I'm saying that some persons are still there to confuse citizens of Nigeria in grand community. That's why I have to come, and I'll make sure. I will allow this video to be very, 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 very brief. I'm going to talk on two vital issues. Let me address the annoying one first. The annoying one is what I want to, so that I can end my other vital issue with peace. And, uh, you know, I will have peace throughout the week. The first vital issue I want to address this morning is that of the person that calls himself a friend and a brother in person of Akim Shola Josiah aka Shalom. In fact if I say I don't want to call you Shalom because you don't know what Shalom means. And sir I think it's high time now I have to drag you out. When I listened to your VN this morning, I started running stomach upsets. I was having upsets in my stomach. Sir, you are not an elder. You are not an elder. Do you know that ever since you started this, your UAG issue, I've always come to your DM to tell you and bring to what people are talking about you. And you are just somebody I used to respect. That is why I don't often talk about you. I often come to your DM as a Yoruba elder so that you not be part of the Yoruba nuisance. And we don't want to, to nurse Yoruba nuisance in the community again. I don't know why. I've always come to you to always tell you to train gently. And I always know what you used to tell me. But I'm shocked this morning. I purposely listened to your VN. I wanted to see whether you are going to say the truth or not. But sir, do you know what you're doing? You are digging your grave. 
you are digging a very big grave that you will cover yourself in shame. I am telling you seriously. And you will know this is the first time Madam Z is dragging you out. And I know you remember vividly that we have said a lot of things. You have come to me to ask so many questions in the past. You have accused some people wrongly. I've told you what you're saying then is not right. Mr. So called Shalom. Because you don't have peace. So you don't have peace. Shalom means peace. See, all the, 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 the rubbish you have omitting since morning. Just go and pack it. Shamelessly pack it and swallow it back. I'm not talking about whatever you are talking about, you AGPGN, whatever. You see, anything that is built on the foundation of lies, this is the outcome. This is the outcome. See, citizens of Nigeria in ground community, let me tell you everything Mr. Shalon has said, I know nothing about, but that that he's saying UAAG has money. UAAG does not have any money. He does not have any money, so don't let anybody deceive you any further. Whether you believe it or not, UAG has no money. If he knows he is not scared, why are you stopping women to go and find out the truth? What is the big deal to ask for document? Because you know there is no document anywhere existing where Ken's name is there. So what is your business with that? What? Don't threaten anybody. Let me say something to you. If you think women don't have power, you lie. If you think women cannot prove a point, you lie. You people should just stop this issue of trying to think you want to suppress women it is when things are no longer having e -e -e faces you are not seeing the truth when it's your robert dojuru or will i'm having to when words or issues are difficult the women will untangle it do you understand mr shalom ak ak mr shalom that is a king shola josiah Please go and sit down. This your monkey hand. For a very long time, you people know there's monkey hand because it's all lies. It's all lies that you people started on the foundation of life. And it's because of what you are eating. That's why you are trying to protect Kenoma Kama in this issue. So just stop it, Akim Shalagishaya. If you try again to come out to do anything, I will disgrace you from the beginning to the end. I will tell the world who you are. So please, that one that you have released today, let it be the first and the last you are releasing. If you want to do Vinod, you can do Vinod. Maybe you want to say the truth. I'm not stopping you. But if you want to convince Nigerians that UAAG has any money to disburse, then you lie, Mr. Shalom. You lie. Leave women. Let them breathe. Let them do what they want to do. What is wrong in finding out the truth? This is what I've been shouting. You know, people should go and look for the truth. Because how is it? see, it is because you see, all these our NGOs, you have not undergo some trainings to know how grant is run, how grant is brought into this country. Which grant did somebody bring? And they now look around, they did not see who to give. They get to Ken one come out to go and disperse it. AGPGN were the one covering the faces of people, not me. Oh. And some other people that I know, they are liberated. That the name of Ken was in one document. There was no document anywhere. Oh no, Kati Boka. The owner of the ring has collected the ring. Akim Shola Josiah. Go and sit down. Because even AGPGN knew that they were on the foundation of lies from the beginning. And after a year, before they could come out, you know why the, the truth came out so easily? You people were calling the name of God. Don't know why he's involved. God is involved in all these things. And God arises in his own infiniteness to protect his name. He said he adores his name above any other thing. That was why he came out and destroyed your camp just like the way he destroyed the walls of Jericho. So Akim Shala Josiah, leave women alone them collecting proof of payment them collecting whatever they are collecting it is none of your business 
I'm saying somebody sponsor anybody. See, I am not here to back a GPGN. And let them hear it and hear it for good. When anybody is being dragged in this in, 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 in this community, a GPGN will be dragged. You can call me, yo. All of you can start your write-up. You can write anything. Usazawu can start writing. Stop that you think you people will not be dragged because you are the architect of the trouble the more. So Shola Josiah, you are my first vital issue. Leave women, let them breathe. Let them look for the truth. If you go and look for the truth and you discover that, okay, what you felt was lie is the truth. Is it not coming out to help you? So why are you against that? They are collecting proof of payment. They say they want to go to EFCC. And you said one other thing, that government no UAAG. You will answer for it, though. Because honestly, this is your V-note. I've already put it where I'm putting them. I will call you also to come and answer where the government know you AAG. Akim Shola Josiah, I have been warning you, quietly respecting you, but it seems you don't respect the gray hair on your hair. You want to be like all this, uh, I don't want to insult you. You don't respect your gray hair. That's what I'm going to say. I'm giving you a last warning because I've tried so much to go to your DM to stop all this nonsense you're doing. But it seems the, the lies and all the deceit you have been giving to people is time. You two will shut up. So Akim Shala Josiah, leave the women, let them do whatever they need to do. Grand community, they have sent Akim Shola Josiah to come and blackmail you so that you start looking at, hey, should we not bring approval of payment? They say Ken is going to this. Ken is not disbursing any shit. Any shit. They are not disbursing it. I don't even know why most of the time they will go, they, they petition this one. They will petition that one. They petition. Why are you not petitioning me? You should have petitioned me now. Petition me. Can you say government no no a u a a g? Why on it out? I will play your V notes for them. I don't know what is wrong with what with you people. You you collected money from people, low. People are now agitating. The next thing you people will do is to go and petition them in state CID or first CID. Hey, una never tire, una go so be. So I don't want to go long now. My second vital issue. Is to Madam Temi Tokpe, Ilu Yemi Baloguma. I want to say well done. I want to say well done. Kudos to you. Sincerely appreciate your efforts. Honestly, from my heart, I doff my cap for you for standing up to say you are bringing women to look for the truth. I remember vividly when you first did your V notes, they sent it to me. I looked at it and you remember that. I, I sent a message to you and you replied me that you're sorry you were going to reach out to me the following day. I didn't see your message. I know that time I saw your message again. You were calling out to Madam Z. Ma, with all sincerity in me, I appreciate the movement you're bringing up. But Ma, let me say this to you. With all humility in me, not pride, all humility in me, because I don't want you to take it personal or any woman. I am for women. When women stand, I stand. You know my position. You know my chieftaincy title. I am for women. But Ma, like I said, I'm standing with all humility in me. I have found that the truth a very long time ago. I have been shouting in this community for over two years, telling people that UAAG does not have any money to give to anybody. UAAG does not exist. I have a lot of evidence. The one I brought out then, for you to know, you know how they came out, even a GPGN trying to cover what is not coverable. They don't know I have more in store. It is when it is time for it to use it is when I will use it. But ma, I have known the truth for a very long time. You want to search for the truth. That's why you are going to EFCC or you want to petition any 
body you want to petition to find out the truth which is good so me following you or saying i'm coming to abuja to come and go to efcc is a waste of time for me not you or other women i have known the truth the truth has set me free i have jumped to the next level of how to bring justice not going back to looking for the truth ma so ma if you feel going to efcc will make you know the truth but i'm telling you ken has no document to show to you there's no document anywhere that has ken's name but if you want to go and know the truth i think it is better but madam z i would not want to be dragged back i have passed that stage the stage i am <laughs> Those that know the stage I am knows the stage I am. The stage I am now is to get justice. And how do I get it? When you people go and find out the truth according to you, please don't don't relent. Oh, a fighter always be a fighter. Don't be don't let anybody use any kind of threat. I know you can't be threatened. A Yoruba woman, when they stand for the truth, they stand. So stand if you want to stand you finding out the truth the moment you find out the truth it helps my own justice seeking for justice for citizens of nigeria that have spent their hard-earned money on what they don't have that they claim they have claiming somebody else's glory claiming somebody else's things to be their own what does not belong to them they want to claim they are the owner they are not the owner Olo boka or while waiting before the owner of the ring has collected his ring the hand of the betrayer is empty so ma if you want to find out the truth the moment you know the truth we join forces together i cannot be dragged back i have known the truth for a very long time so madam temitokpe iluyemi balogu spiritually physically i'm with you just find out the truth i will not join you in abuja me i've done what i need to do that's what i came out to say so that people will not think we are not hearing from madame z we are not do i've done that i've done my shouting i've done my findings over two years ago so i wish you the best the moment you come because you know if you're not fully part of something it will be difficult to fight for justice but when you know the truth Please keep all this your POP. It is very important. It is very, very important. And I want to encourage every citizen of Nigeria that have paid any money in any form for grants and yet to disburse. Please. And she's asking for, please feel free to drop it. You're dropping your POP does not stop any disbursement if they have money unless they don't have money and they need not to be scared if they know what they are doing so nobody should come and stop here well done thank you for going to drop your pop and uh, those that petition two weeks where are they <laughs> you lie mr jala josiah i'm telling you seriously don't try it I'm warning you, stay within your limit, Mr. Shala Josiah. Leave the women alone. So, Madam Balogun, please, anything you want to do, do it. You want to seek for the truth. You want to find out the document, please go ahead. I don't want to be dragged back. When you get your truth, then we can move the motion to the next one. So, thank you so much, Madam. I appreciate you. God bless you. God bless this movement. And God will make you find out the truth as easy as it might be difficult but god will make it easy for you please stand firm stand on the truth and don't be weird don't be disturbed by say talks at least you're in, in the community you know a lot they said about me i'm not moved i'm still standing strong so they will say a lot of things if you really want to be a warrior a comrade please stand for the truth get the truth then we move from there when you get the truth, you are the ones that subscribed. I didn't subscribe for it. So you are the one that subscribed. The moment you get the truth, then the battles continue. You should remember that EFCC 
are not the one to to to, to fight for you i have i've met times with that number and i know what they used to say so when you get the truth we move from there so thank you citizens of nigeria and that is what i came out to just talk about so that some nuisance will not come and threaten you with nonsense lies or baked lies don't listen to them even if they have the grants even if they have the grant and you're agitating even the government cannot stop you from agitating is a right is your right if you agitate you want to know the truth so if you know the truth the truth can set you free just like what madame balogun said when well, we know if it's 20 years they say they want to disburse at least we will know there is money somewhere for them to disburse so please keep moving we will get there god is always our strength thank you and do have a lovely day and lovely week ahead Thank you.